Okay, so you're a drifter and you need a tow rig, but don't have 30 grand to spend. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what I think is the best budget option that's under 10 grand, but closer to five. Okay, let's get in this tow rig that I have and talk about it. Okay, so we're in the truck because it's really hot outside and I have AC in here. So, to get into it, a lot of people think it's really cool to street drive their drift cars to the track, which I think it all it is pretty cool, but sometimes it's not worth it. There are some big downsides to street driving, some of them being you can't go as hard at the track because if you like hit a wall or brake, you're going to be in a in a pinch to get home, and you can't fit as much stuff like say you plan on burning more than a few sets of tires you're not going to be able to bring that many unless you get a trailer there's there's ways around it but it's just less convenient it's mainly the getting to and from the track with a broken car it can be kind of tough sometimes so most people will prefer a tow rig the only problem is it gets really expensive um, a new truck is like you don't even want to think about the price they're up there like 50 60 70 grand and then a used diesel truck is like a lot of money like maybe 30 grand for like a decent diesel truck and then pretty much just the cheaper it gets the worse the trucks get and the main idea with having a tow rig is that it's reliable that it will get you to and from the track without breaking down but that's like the worst thing if you're like in your truck and in, in your trailer towing your drift car and you break down on the way to the track that's like the worst case scenario and you might as well just street driven at that point so this is my solution for a budget tow rig that is insanely reliable it's a first gen toyota sequoia so the toyota sequoia is the same thing as a toyota tundra which is the pickup truck it's just the suv version it's on the same frame it's got the same engine drivetrain everything so we'll get into kind of how I came to this conclusion of the Toyota Sequoia. A little while ago, I was in the same place that a lot of you guys probably were. I knew I was going to be drifting soon and I didn't want to shoot drive to the track. For me, it's because I have a wife and kids and I wanted to bring them with me and that wouldn't work in a 350Z. So I needed a tow rig. So I started looking into it. I wanted to spend less than 10 grand, but more, I wanted to realistically spend about five. That was kind of my budget at the time. So looking at the options, there there's really not a whole lot in that range. It really is like early 2000s trucks. You don't really want to go in the 90s. They start just getting really old and bad at that point. So early 2000s trucks, the options are really the like a Chevy truck, like a Silverado or like a GMC or an F-150 or any other versions of those kind of chassis. So those are both actually good trucks with the Silverado you're gonna make sure you wanna get like an HD or like a 2500. That truck has the six liter motor with the 4L80 transmission. In the non-HD, like the 1500s, it has the 4L60E transmission, which is like notorious for just braking while towing. So that's like a big no. You'll, you'll see a lot of guys doing it, especially in the newer ones, the newer ones are better, but um, it's just kind of a risk and at some point they will break and that's kind of just like, it, it can just cause some nerves and some stress. And then the F-150s are also good. They don't have like a huge towing capacity, which isn't that big a deal, but they're just generally a little more unreliable than I would prefer. So when you think about reliability, obviously the first thing you think of is Toyota. Toyota is known for their reliability. They've always been behind on innovation, but ahead on reliability. So um, I looked at the Sequoia and for some reason, like not many people tow with them. I, I don't know why it's just kind of like a hidden gem if you look up the tow capacity the first gen sequoias are i think it's 6000 to 6500 depending if you have the two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive model which is if you're towing and a single car open trailer with a car on it that's more than you'll ever need my trailer weighs i think like 1700 pounds and it's an 18 foot steel trailer and my car weighs over 3,000, so that's like probably close to 5,000 pounds there, which is under the tow capacity, so you're good. Truck has enough towing capacity, and they're cheap. They're like so much cheaper than, than you would think. Maybe the reason is because they, they stay reliable even at high miles. So my truck, let's see if we can get a view here. You can see this, has 224,000 miles. So like that's a good bit of miles, but I would honestly say that's pretty low for a Sequoia. If you do a quick search of like the longest, I think it's like the first vehicle to ever hit a million miles. It was a 2007 Toyota Tundra. I'm pretty sure I read this article a while back, but the owner of it um, ran parts like he was a delivery dude. So he's just constantly driving his truck and on the original motor and transmission, he passed a million miles. 
and I think the only things he replaced was just like basic maintenance stuff like an alternator and that kind of thing so these trucks will go forever um, there's this one youtuber that I that I was looking into when I was first finding out about the Sequoias who I have to put his name up on the screen I forgot what it is off the top of my head but he tows vehicles like all the time he has like a like a mechanic shop or something and he's constantly towing vehicles in his first gen sequoia and it has like 400,000 miles and he's had other ones that have had more miles and they just keep going the transmissions don't break the engines don't break they don't burn oil they, they don't do anything they just run so i like i said mine has 224 almost 25,000 miles on it this year just this drifting season i think i've probably done I'd have to do the math. Maybe I will and add it in here, but I, th I would say I've done around 4,000 miles of towing and the truck hasn't skipped a beat. Like nothing has happened. I have changed the oil once and I put new tires on it before the beginning of the season. And literally all I do is hook up the trailer to the truck, put it in gear, hit the tow haul button and go. I don't even have to think about anything. Um, but meanwhile, I have friends that have like all the Chevy trucks and the Ford trucks and they're posting on Facebook saying, crap guys, my fuel pump broke. Can anyone come help me? So like, that's the main reason why I think these are so good. One, they're cheap and they're insanely reliable. You can tow forever with one of these. You'll never break a transmission unless you're towing like a stupid amount. But they're just, they're awesome. Some people say with the Sequoias and the Tundras, you need to put like helper airbags in the rear springs. I believe that would probably help, but my truck tows fine. Like I don't have any sway. It does squat a little bit. Um, I can put a picture of it loaded. It's definitely squat a little bit in the rear, so that would help. But it still drives straight. Like on the on the highway going like 70, 75, I can just let go of the wheel and it will just go straight. So no problems towing. I have a the trailer has dual axle brakes, so and I have a trailer brake controller, so I don't have a problem stopping. Um, it's just it's awesome. And with the Sequoia. Um, let's see if you can see back here. There's actually two rows of seats. Our trunk is full of boxes right now and I had removed those seats. But um, if you remove the back row of seats and fold up the front row, it, there's like a ton of room to sleep. So if you want to camp at events, you can literally like sprawl out flat in the back of this thing. You don't have to worry about weather or anything. So that's another plus. So I think um, now maybe to just kind of see um, maybe we'll hop on Facebook Marketplace and see if we can find any for good deals. Um, I'll say when I bought mine, I bought it when I was living in Idaho and this was maybe about two, a year and a half, two years ago. So I think it was 20, like, man, when was it? No, it was about a year ago. Yeah, I've had it for about a year. It was 2020 when I bought it. And this was before, if you're watching this, maybe in the future, this is currently the kind of the end of COVID times, I guess. Um, this I bought this before the COVID spike of used car prices. So when we look it up, when we go on Facebook now, they'll probably be a little bit higher. But I bought my truck with 20, probably 215,000 miles for $4,500. And that was actually a little bit more than I, than I could have spent. There was plenty available that were like around 3,000. So we're gonna look into it and then see what we can find. Okay, so we're on Facebook Marketplace. We're gonna look for some Toyota Sequoias and see what we can find. Hopefully prices haven't gone up too much. You can see here, I've been looking at little pit bikes recently. I've been looking for something to kind of wrap around the pits at drift events, but that's irrelevant. So what we're gonna do is go to vehicle, we wanna go to make. And we want to go all the way down to Toyota. There we go. Model. We want to go down to Sequoia. Okay, so the things that are going to be important are... Minimize these again. I didn't go into this, but there's actually two kind of eras of the Sequoia there was kind of like an upgrade I think it was an 05 so 05 06 and 07 have a better transmission and better motor the 03 and 04 is still refined but the newer ones make a little bit more power and I think the transmissions have like an extra gear it's like a five speed compared to a four speed so there's that so these this is like a newer one right here okay here's the first one this is actually looks really good so this is local to me so this is Dearborn Michigan it's pretty close 2003, so this doesn't have the upgraded motor, um, but it's low miles, 115. 
so it's black that's pretty sick too it's got a leather interior so it probably has heated seats and everything um yeah there it is the 4.8 this i think this motor is called the 2uz um it's pretty indestructible this truck looks pretty clean it looks like it was pretty well taken care of uh it's out of gas for sale yeah let's see what the description says one owner okay this is this on and okay one owner four wheel drive it has the dvd so if you go back let's see if you can see it right up here in the top it's got a dvd player so if you've got kids smooth transition this truck has no mechanical issues no rust shipped from california okay this is 8600 or best offer i think if you could get this truck for like because prices are all right now if you could get it for around seven or eight like this is a good truck and this thing will tow anything anywhere let's see what else we can find let's filter the year to minimum 2005 and max 2007 and we'll see if we can get any Okay, there's two. Let's look at this cheap one. So this is a 2005, it has 201,000 miles, which is not bad. Okay, this is in Spanish. Good thing I know Spanish. It says this is in perfect conditions. All the work is 100% done. Um, un poco chivida. I'm pretty sure that might mean rust. Okay. Oh no, that's like a little dent or something. Yeah, he got in a rack um okay so this one's priced really cheap because of the rack not a whole lot of info but i bet it i bet it's still good for 3800 dollars. like this guy probably takes three grand for it and that's a steal for a tow rig let's look at this one this one's more expensive 7500 236,000 miles let's see okay it looks good i like the red that's pretty sick clear coats peeling that's really common um doesn't look like it's rusty but nice leather interior okay it's got the dvd this thing looks pretty nice dude yeah let's see what does it say clean title for sale by dealer okay that kind of sucks for sale by dealer you can probably get this thing for a lot cheaper though okay so that's michigan maybe let's put in a different location let's see what the market's like somewhere else i'm gonna type in fresno california Let's just see what we got. Hopefully it saves our, okay. Well, that looks like it's very expensive. There's only one and it's at a dealership. Dealerships are always more expensive. Although this car does look very clean. I actually prefer the cloth interior. That's what mine has. It's more comfortable. Um, this is low miles, looks really clean. And it's at a dealership, so it's gonna be more expensive. Surprisingly, there was not many. Let's up this range a bit to 100 miles. There's only one more. Maybe California is not the place to buy a Toyota Sequoia. This one looks, oh yeah, you don't want this one. Let's change the location to Salt Lake City, Utah. This is where, this is near where I bought mine. I bought mine down in Provo. Dang, there's not very many right now. But this looks good. Okay, 260. Like I said, these things will go a million miles. As long as these were taken care of, it doesn't really matter. 5,900, um, eight seats, super clean, price is OBO. Dude, this is a rig right here. Oh, look at that thing. That thing looks nice. It's got a doubled in. Yeah, this is a unit right here. 5,900 bucks, they take five grand cash. Boom, got yourself a tow rig. That will tow you across the country. Okay, there was one thing I forgot to mention you have to make sure when you're buying this that the timing belt has been serviced as long as it's if it's not under like a hundred thousand miles maybe um i don't know the actual mileage but they have like timing belts which can break and i'm pretty sure these are interference motors so what happens if that timing belt breaks all the valves can like smack into the piston and your motor's done so it's not like a common thing that they break but if you get up to like two hundred sixty thousand miles without it being serviced or replaced yeah it's likely to break and you're screwed so most of them have had it done mine had it done and usually while they're in there the water pump is done as well so if they don't have service history sometimes like on the little timing belt cover there will be like a sticker or some writing that says if it's been done and if not you can check the carfax and check that so make sure that that it has been maintained properly 
that's kind of the main thing is the timing belt. Um, other than that, if you need a cheap tow rig, find yourself a Toyota Sequoia. Prices are high right now. When I was looking about a year, year, year and a half ago, there were plenty that were like in the $3,000 to $4,000 range. I spent $4,500 just because this one was really clean and it had like everything we wanted. So yeah, that's the video. Um, if you got any questions about my Sequoia, ask me um, in the comments. If you liked the video, subscribe, hit the like button, and yeah, peace.